part one, we worked on getting Beatscape content integrated into X1 without using the Beatscape program. In part two, I'll show you some tips and techniques on getting multiple loops to work well together using the Pro Channel modules. First up here is focusing on the main kick sample. Here I'm just adding some mid and top range EQ along with some added low end using the quad curve EQ. And just by using my ear, I'm toggling through some of the various modes to hear what sounds best. Next, I'm going to compress the kick, just minimally using the PC76 module. It's just for a little bit more added attack and punch. Now I'm going to add another kick sample to the mix, and instantly I don't like the way this one sounds with the original one. So I'm going to thin it out and shape it using the quad curve EQ with the pure mode. I'm going to roll off most of the low end with a medium slope, and I'm also going to add some mid-range. And now this kick part turns into more of a supplement to the original kick and gets out of the way sonically. I'm also going to compress it a bit to tighten the pulse. And then I'm going to add some tube drive. Adding another kick to the fold here. As you can hear again, the sample kind of takes over, which is not what I'm going for. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the PC4K gate module and drag it to the top of my chain. Here I'm going to easily shorten the length of the sample using this module. Next I'm going to add some compression to tame the sound even more. And then I'm going to EQ this sound using the quad curve so that it fits in with the other samples better. And then adding some tube drive gives the sound some more bite. I have my kick samples working well together. I'm going to pull in a snare, and right off the bat I can tell that it doesn't cut through enough. So using the quad curve EQ, I'm going to add some mid-range and some top end EQ and then compress the sample for more attack. Next I'm going to pull in a collab sample and snap it on the back end of the snare to the right by a 16th note. And then using the Pro Channel, I can simply replace the PC76 with the PC4K compressor to get the sound that I want. And with the Quad Curve EQ, I'm just going to shape this so it sounds more like an effect rather than a clap. I'm also going to incorporate the saturation knob made by SoftTube, which comes with Sonar X1 Expanded. This will give it more of a dramatic effect. And then finally, I'll just pan the sample before adding another clap. So, adding another clap here, I'm going to use the same techniques as the first clap, and I'm going to compress it heavily and I'm going to EQ it so that it's more of an effect rather than just a hand clap. And I want to point out here that I'm not using any audio rules, I'm simply just using my ear on the fly and using what works best with what I'm trying to go for. One of the great features in Sonar X1 is the Smart Tool which enables me to manipulate and maneuver samples freely without having to use modifiers or keystrokes. So by hovering the mouse over a certain position of the sample, I can just freely move it wherever I want. Now I'm going to focus in on adding some depth to this loop. And as you can hear when I pull this sample, and it basically takes over and takes away from what I have going on. A lot of the times less is more with these samples, so with the quad curve EQ I can precisely focus in on what I'm going for, which here in this case is the tambourine sound. So with the EQ and compression I can very easily dial in what I'm going for. So to give this tambourine sound some depth I'm going to add the TSAR soft tube reverb, which is a pro channel module. And I'm also going to add the saturation knob by SoftTube, which is going to give it a lot more depth. So I'm going to 
add one more loop to the mix here. And using the same principles as before, I'm going to make this loop more of an effect rather than a main part. But this time I'm going to use the PC2A module on the compression side to smooth out the sample a bit. And again, using the quad curve EQ, I'm going to roll off the low end and adjust the slope and adjust more frequencies to make the loop fit in with the others. Here I'm highlighting the clip, and by holding down the control key, I can instantly drag over a copy. And now I'm going to simply reverse this new clip and move it over to the left to 16th note to set it up for a more dramatic effect. After adjusting the panning and some volume to the loop, I'm going to add the soft tube TSAR reverb just to add another dimension to the sound. So now that I have all the loops working pretty well together, I'm going to go to the master bus and easily call up a pro channel preset for mastering. Here I have the Pro Channel Concrete Limiter working with the PC4K bus compressor and I'm lightly hitting that to give the loop more consistency with all the parts working together. Here's what I started with with all the loops playing together. And here's what I ended up with by shaping all the loops so that they work well together. 